Uh, Frozen Sigil is going to cause a lot of problems for Crit and Crit. Well, he wonders where Jurax is. Jurax will come out of the tree line as Mike could control, diving in deep as that Phoenix Crit still ticking down quite heavily, and he doesn't really have enough life to survive this one. Doesn't even turn for a shock. The Crit Wave will end up following the Liquid players back out. In fact, No-Tell rotates over. He goes directly for the spin, so Mind Control cannot control No-Tell, and this will allow No-Tell to get himself a solo kill. A lot of heroes rotating for Liquid. They do not want this stack to go uncontested. So Fader moving forward. Fly, well, he moves into the middle of them. The Snowball's already heading to Miracle and flies too far away. No Can he get in range for the Shallow Grave? There she goes. As the Gyrocopter, well, No-Tell does already die. Miracle gets himself out to safety. More TP supports coming oh, he in. Back on they can turn for the Fissure. It doesn't lock Jirax in, but it does hold Fader here for the moment. So they can go for the Razors. It's Miracle and Moon. And they move down deeper, chasing after Fader. Can they get close enough? The TP's going out. Moon needs to stun oh. through the tree line. He gets it. Fader won't TP out in time. Literally saw two Liquid Heroes TP bottom lane to try and kill. Oh, call down Miracle. Yeah, he doesn't see it coming straight away, but he does have that buckler, so it's good armor available for him. He winds up the Requiem, but Dolman ran in there. Jirax able to get the shards off, but support will arrive. No tell going for the spin, burning through Jirax. Mind Control goes for the ulti. It's underneath the tower for the spin. They get through the egg in time. Miracle back into the safety of the tree line, but he's going to bottle up and chase up after here, Fader. Who's going to run himself out through the bottom river area. Uh, come to play. Uh, no tell. Uh, trouble. Oh. The Stomp controls him. And the Shallow Graven heal from Dazzle. Wow, this is work, especially with the spin. Only Slice is off cooldown. Now he's going to go to work. Bouncing down to Metallica, giving almost a double kill to him. He's still alive for the count until Kuro will slap him down with a briefcase. They'll try and go deeper, but in that Nova is up. Fly, they're all oh. trying to attack with the Spirit. It's not only the Spirit coming in from the ET, it was the fact that we hit by the Fire Spirits. The fish will connect from Moon. The Mouse Open Wars are down trying to help him out, and Kuro's now trying to run away, but Miracle has more than enough damage. Liquid will lose the whole enchilada. Like they're, they're miles ahead. And now, oh, oh, oh. no tell, the TP! The Snowball will catch him. He decided not to spin in TP. And because of that, well... Top lane, though. Are they actually catching up to... Uh, Moon needs another Fissure, or a stun, or something. Crit just wants a shock. Moon has that Blink take a back off cooldown. So Blink into Fissure. And then allow Crit to get in range for the Ether Shock. He's still. Oh. You can see him start. You can see him start, but the rotation's coming over from Team Liquid. Miracle will be caught out by Matumperman, but it's the Tasker who snowballs himself in, catches out the Shaman, and then isolates Moon inside the shards. Kuro is able to stomp and TP away from Miracle. Miracle thinks he might still be here, but it's because Kuro walked up to the Fog of War in game two. Man, that was one of the most unfortunate TPs I've seen in a long time. Poor no tell. Oh, in mid lane, Miracle. Miracle this is. Ballsy, he's still got that mecha bell, so, so he's got a lot more life as uh, he baits the ulti multiple times. The rocket's oh, gonna met? connect, he's never met, he's got 17 one charges. He triggers both and survives, now and he lets the ulti blow, and he will end up surviving. The gyrocopter goes down at this one, Miracle, can they bring down the egg? No, they cannot, well not yet at least, they're still trying to beat through it, fly one more attack. The spirits from mind control, again stopping all the fun of OG. Team Liquid have still lost three heroes, as it was No Tail that was able to clean up with the Omni Slash and the back lines while my control was jumping in. He's not going to enjoy this, but with a defensive weave from Fly, the armor is also increasing heavily, so Gyro's damage really isn't that impressive. Oh but No Tail wants to get out of here. Even with the cooldown, the visual stop Gyro from getting a straight up combo. But No Tail's blocked inside the pit. He's going to go down at this point. Fly will safely TP out, but they've lost the Shaman, they've lost the Juggernaut, and now they've actually lost Roshan as well here. Team Liquid are taking it all from OG. Uh, uh, sorry, four staffs arrived, and you got the full Butterfly as well up for the Juggernaut. He moves forward. Bada, he's gonna be the first one. They make a couple of illusions to actually waste a lot of that Juggernaut ultimate. And the Phoenix Egg is down, but it's in the middle of nowhere. The rest of OG jump almost into the Roche pit to try and battle it out where Fauda was protected by Jirax's Snowball. The Shards don't get a perfect lock effect. It's Moon's Fincher, which isolates the team. There's your Mount Serpent Wars and a really great trade point on the hillside. But then again, Liquid, they're up on the Radiant side as OG desperately try and find underneath their extra damage. Moon doesn't have a, well, Miracle doesn't have a lot of things to play around with here he's got the damage okay maybe he does four hits and jurax just dies moon's locked up on the high ground he's got four stuff to get back down and get away from the spirit of kuro right now he's pushing in the mid lane they're looking for that observer or the radiant side 
And again, it, it, it scours oh, up Moon, and they jump in the four stuff up from Moon. There is a ball with the snowball, and do they have enough? The Shallow Grave's over on Moon, but that call out should do some work. The Earthman are actually cancelling the Fissure. They'll keep Matumperman back, and this will allow Miracle to fight, but the damage is being stolen right now. But how quickly? Not really quick enough until the Requiem of Souls will bounce off. The they Phoenix need egg. to get rid of this Phoenix Egg, and they're going to be able to do so underneath the cover of the BKB. Vader hiding in the tree lines, but he couldn't stay in the trees forever. That's stolen from Kuro. Just a fraction of a second too late, and again, this fissure from Moon. The follow-up, he's just a little bit too far away from Jirax. He has the totem of Barbell and the Snowball coming down to the creep, allowing the time for Jirax to get that point taker off cooldown and get away. And again, Kuro with this spirit down on the ground, making it difficult for Oji oh, to chase him. as they still caught him up in the tree line. So now the Master Open wants to go down, and there's a 40 second opening. Miracle, he's the man with the egg cushion in the mech. They'll slow him down. There's that Sun Ray going to work. So Miracle needs to walk out of it. He's just trying to dodge the rays. I kind of feel it right now. Miracle basically playing like a ginger. This tier 3 tower is going to go down. And Miracle back out. Oh, will he? No, he's still got the Aegis, and he's still got the mech. So why do it? Vader actually getting stunned oh up, and they're hitting so hard. No. Two range matches with the Monkey King bar. The only slash will go from no tail, but all he does is just help the push by taking out the creep wave. And the Razor, now he'll have to buy it back. 65 seconds. Kuro trying to buy his space. First with a stop. Follow up splitter. The damage is minimal. The shards will lock him in. But Miracle, he still got the Aegis. So no fear Miracle at the moment. With a Blink Dagger, maybe the Shaman can jump in and find that opening. Miracle wants him to bait something out to him. And now the Shallow Grave and the Four Star out. They haven't finished the melee racks. That rocket coming out means Miracle needs a little bit more life. What level rock is that? Something level one. Like you just need Jack. They just kill the rocket and they turn around and come back in again. The Miracle, the, he'll disappear. He'll take out the rocket. The Stomp finds more space. 18 seconds till Fader is back up. And Miracle, he wants to attack the tower. The problem is still now. Stun Ray, the spin comes from no tail. As much damage as he can, but Thomas BKB will protect Miracle again with that shallow grave. They just can't stop, but the rack is down. And can they get through the egg? No, they can't. No tail will drop. The Aegis will burn. And they want to fight. The call out to Malva Baboon. Oh. Jumps in for the Echo Slam. The follow finish, even hitting Jirax in the back line. He can't get any control. Knew we brought down by Matumba, but he got a full combo off. And Miracle now out of BKB, moves away from the snowball, blinked himself up, but he bought time for Fly to be slowed down and the shard block as well. Fly, he knows he's done for. The Shallow Grave will buy time. He attempts a TP. The stomp comes in from Kuro. That'll end up cancelling that one. Can they catch the SF as well? The snowball's there on the front lines, but Miracle, he's getting a long way back. But how much have they got? Actually, probably nowhere near enough to kill him. The mech is back off cooldown. Maybe with the sun ray, it starts burning in combination with that urn. The Matumaman, he wants to chase the shards will fly, but Miracle evades it. Now Matumaman, he realizes they haven't trapped them in. Yeah, are they gonna buy back? No, it's like five seconds. How can you buy back? No, not let it go. Seconds. There's no fortification available. Like, Kuro Stomp will buy them the cover to do this, and Kret, okay, Mass Serpentmores, Jirax is almost dead from this one, but it's no tell, he's got Omni Slash up, bounced across Kuro, and then Jirax, he offers his life on a silver platter, Moon, he doesn't have Blink available at the moment, but Matumaman, the chance of escape is probably 0.00001 Zero. <laughs> recurring, oh, of course, Phoenix, maybe, you actually it. no, he got the Sheepers cover, oh. Moon's still got four up as well as Blink, Blink BKB, for the he didn't BKB? No, oh, he didn't, he's fine, he's ah. okay. Dazzle's now got a Solar Crest, so even though there's no Butterfly on that SF, Vader's still going to have issues. I don't know what Miracle's been praying to, but he's hitting every single range match over on Vader every time he attacks him. Those melee racks don't stand a chance. He can, uh, <coughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, finishes the melee racks, and now they're back out. The Shards catching no tell once again, but he'll just spin out. Uh, moon, Moon. Oh, he went back. Thought they'd be coming up that way. Are they still gonna fight here for Liquid? And this okay. will be suicide no. to do so, but the jump in, they may have no choice. Koro almost down for the count. The snowball came in. Miracle actually jump into the middle of that snowball by the looks of it, and they take out two very quickly. Miracle can't get that ulti off because of the stun from the Nova. Now he'll wind up and let it go. Buying Moon time to get the Echo Slam off. Mind Control is just so low. 18 life. He wants the Sun Ray back oh, out again. No. Vader oh, fighting from inside the bit. OG. They burn the Aegis to the Immortal, Jurax is still here waiting, The Miracle, he can't get the Titanic off, oh no, now he can, support comes in from Fly, but only to give the Jello Grave, allowing his SF to keep being a man, while Crit puts down the Mass Serpent Wars, he'll go down an ultra kill from a Tumberman, but well, Miracle will take it straight back from more, can he know the four stuff up, he dropped below MKB, 40 life, MKB, but now he, oh, I got he, it. he stuns up Koro, and actually cancels the stun, Mind Control, oh. one attack, he cancels
after this. An ultra kill for Miracle. He's going to die? The urn? The urn? He's the urn. He's, he's taking he's he's another six kills. Kart, Kart. No, he'll survive. No, okay. wait, no. Okay. No, Cardi will not that find was... this kill. He has lifesteal. Imagine if that was a shockwave creep. Oh. They've seen it with the Observer Ward. So they understand what Kuro has got. What they don't see, however, is where Jirax is currently sitting. They're going to force staff him down. They came down here to chat to scout it for the wards, but it's elsewhere. Mind control. Well, oh. no tell. They know he's there. The Weaver give him the vision. And now the Omni Slash catching both mind control and Cora. Can he get the Oak? No, Rob. No, he cannot. It's already two kills going the way of OG. And probably a lot more where that came from. Miracle beating into Fader. Fader has done 140 damage, but he cannot sustain. He cannot stay here. So two heroes down for Liquid. No buybacks available on both of them. BKBs to then come back down again and throw out the E-Blade. So they jump forward, Miracle out very, very far. Nozel's also in the middle of this fight, just spinning and attacking. He just wants to force out the Megas. He knows he's so low, and now the omni Slash with the Shallow Grave. He jumps up, but Jirax's Ghost Set will soak up so much of this. And OG, they lose three, but they get the racks. So the Aegis Immortal will burn now. Buybacks are available only for the SF. But with Juggernaut back to World of Living, he'll go down down for a hundred seconds. You're up against Megas, you've been forced on multiple lanes. But yeah. they need that Earthshaker. Earthshaker still has Echo Slam. The biggest thing is they don't have the tier two top, so they can't actually go for Megas themselves. They kind of have no, to they, go they're all going, in. Going this for has GG. to be a GG push. They, they've got to go for the for the tier four towers. Just attack the range racks on the way through and just go for it. Dazzle's coming up. The SF and Jugger will have to buy back. The Kree waves are still pushing in through the other lanes. Like it's really difficult for Liquid to do this, but they're going to give it a shot. It's onto the tier 4 towers. It's dropping low. Fortification still available. Here comes the Juggernaut. The ES, he's up. Remember that Echo Slam. The SF now buys back. They're ready to fight. They find Jirax. It's the Abyss of Blade. And they burn through the Ghost. Except he'll snowball for protection. Jumping a little bit closer. Punching up No Tell. And No Tell into oh a spin. The Shallow Grave will tumble, barely man. keep him alive at the very end. But the Fortress is still going down. They've still got the damage. The Stun and The Kree waves are pushing the other side. And it's going to be the momentum of OG the take the game. Liquid were running for it, but they were forced into the fight. And we've got our position right now. We're Team Liquid. Wow. They came so close, but OG will end up 2 zeroing them here in the competition and securing themselves the first grand final spot of the defense. Wow.